Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing some 2-5 cash games, buying for this game is $500. Here we have button open, defend 10-9, flop a 9. Check, check, we'll check turn. And check river, bet. I'm gonna go for a block on the river here. This feels maybe a little too thin, but I think going for it. I think the worst one on a block is 9-8 here. Get raised. So I'm gonna put this in as a bluff here. So I'm blocking two pairs and straights. So turning my hand to a bluff. Um, I think the problem is like I'm not gonna have 10 8 a ton here. It's kind of part of what I'm worried about. So when the, it goes check, check, flop. Well, I could be trying to set... Actually, I take it back. I could have 10-8 here if it goes check, check, flop, and try to set up check raise on that turn. So I think pretty reasonable, actually, now that I think about it. I probably should think that through before I put in the third bet here on the river, but do get the fold. So we turn our 9 into a bluff. And we're getting that through. So open hijack with 9, small blind flats, huge flop. Flop set <laughs> leads into us for pots. So we're pretty deep here. I think top set, like, obviously we're losing to some straights here, but... I think just needs to be a raise. So this player's playing 46, 10, and 5, so yeah, I think we just need to raise. King on the turn. Uh, leads for pot. I think I'm just going to jam. This is so many chips to get in. All right, 8, 5, 10, eight. Please just have a worse setter, two pair. Again, their stat line's 46, 10, and 5, so I think here we just get this in. Oh, I mean, you could make merits for just calling, but... Please have a set of sevens or sixes or like seven, six, nine, seven. I think they call all of those, so. And they eventually fold. So we take it down. Alright, open king queen here, get called, bet the flop. So bet flop, turn five, see the lead. Just going to call here. Or do we raise? I think I'm actually gonna raise here for value. And then I will probably check back a lot of rivers. All right, he does. So, um, we do have to worry about the fact that we can get exploited here for folding this one. We are super deep, which maybe means I should have been less likely to do this. Um, hmm. There's a ton of draws out here though. So actually, I'm actually gonna change my mind and call here. And then I hate this river card. So there's some straights and then the backdoor diamonds coming that we don't block. So I would definitely fold here if you bats. So we're hoping to go check check. I'm not really sure. And then once we face pot here, we'll fold king queen on the river. He's open cut off, small blind three bats, calling king jack suited in position, flopping top pair, back to flush draw. All right, save the check here and going to go for bets. See a call nine turn. So eventually checks here and we'll go for the pot size bets. So if he calls here, it's gonna be a little under one to one SPR. I'm trying to think if I get to jam bricks for value or not, if that's too thin. Uh, I have to be getting called by worse enough. I think if two flush draws miss, we might. Ooh, that's a juicy one. So if he has like ace king, ace can't have ace king of hearts, but like ace king of diamonds. Um, queen ten obviously comes in, but I don't know if he check calls the flop with that unless it's diamonds. So just gonna jam here, hoping he has like an ace king here, and then would feel like he probably has to call on the river. So we'll go for the jam. Six twenty four into five oh seven. And eventually folds. Take it down with two pair. Button opens. Three bet king queen suited. Get called. Flop huge. You flop top two. They start a bit shorter here as well. So we go for a small size. Raises. Uh, so I know we have top two, but I think like their draws will probably be getting in here if they decide to raise. 
Can't imagine they're folding a ton of King X, and we're out of position. So I think I'm just going to jam this here. Don't want to risk it going check, check, turn. If they have the draws, we want to charge them for them. So has King 8. Wow, two pairs, two pairs, sick. Just got to fade an 8, and we do. Ultimate cooler there in a 3-bet pot. Huge, huge flop. We have button open, defend big blind, king four suited, ace, queen, six, against small, we'll call. Turn the flush draw check. And over bet. So I think with the nut flush draw, we do want to call here. And then hopefully sometimes we can go check, check, and we win if he misses. But we'll just call. Hopefully hit the diamond, obviously. Duh, 10 river check. Unfortunately, not going to improve. So that's 128. I think I'm actually going to jam this one. So I don't think I'm going to have a ton of like bluffs here. And I know having diamonds is bad, but I blocked the king jack. So I'm going to run this one. This is maybe really horrendous having the diamonds. But I at least blocked the nuts in a spot where it's really hard to find bluffs when it's like we call a turnover bet. And then go for river. So even if he has like a hand like ace queen, ace ten, he's not loving it here. Um, I'd imagine has to call ace queen, probably ace ten too. But even then, like, it's not super great because it's so hard to find a bluff in my spot. So I'm gonna want to review this. I think there's a chance this is like a huge mistake, but we're gonna try running it and we get it through. So makes a difference. Open queens here. Couple calls. Eight seven four. Going to check back against two blinds here. Three on the turn just rips it for like 4x pot. I probably just have to call here um, as long as beep folds. If beep calls, it's a really tricky spot. <laughs> I would probably still overcall actually because he'd have to play super honest on the river. And he might think like his stuff's still ahead. So even though this is a 4x pot jam we're calling. And has 7-5 of clubs, has a massive draw. We still have 61%, and we do hold. Uh, small blind opens here, we call, we'll raise the flop. Top and bottom here, see the call, four turn. Uh, I think over betting. So yeah, we'll go over bet. I mean, pick up the flush draw, pretty good turn card. <laughs> And then I think jam pretty much any river that's not a nine, maybe, basically it. See the call, Jack River, interesting. Can I still go for this here? I think this might be a nitty check, let me think about it. So he's gonna have some ace jack. Um, maybe ace king, ace queen. The problem is 10 8 comes in, so he maybe makes some hero fold to the ace king, ace queen. I'm actually gonna make a really nitty river chuck. Shows ace four. Wow, he turned two pair. I might have been way too tight on that chuck there. You guys can let me know. Oh man, I've had some nitty plays today. It feels like that near both spots where I was like slightly better. Maybe lost myself some money there. All right, limp pot here, flop and trips. Chucks to us, we bet raises. Um, I think just going to play as a call. Turn five of spades. So I don't love the straight coming in, even if it's just two, four. As far as like which ones we'd raise river if they go bet, bet on turn river. Um, bet's 40, just call. River seven. So I have a pretty good kicker. I'm trying to think if we can raise river. It's probably gonna depend on size. That's pots. I'm trying to think if I can raise or not. Two, four. All right, we're gonna go for it. This might be too thin. Just see the fold. So again, we're most likely good, but the problem is I have to get worse to call there. So I have, there has to be enough uh, worse 3x, which jack 3 is really close. I maybe should just call jack 3 and then jam the king 3 and queen 3. I don't know. All right, YouTube, that's the end of another marathon cash game session. So we played for nine hours today at 2512 and 50 cent a dollar. Total results, 3,561 hands, 
plus $333, also got $330 in rake back, so booking a nice win today, despite the fact of losing in terms of big blinds because we did pretty bad at 1-2, but we ran very well at 2-5. So if I ever can recommend a strategy, it is to run better in your highest stake game. That is a winning strategy if you can ever figure out how to implement it. So hope you enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.